hi so today in this video i'm going to review uh, this quant finance and risk management certification uh, master's program from iit kanpur i stumbled upon this uh, program accidentally i didn't know about uh, that uh, you know uh, iit kanpur is offering such a master's program uh, so i i happened to uh, just saw it uh, today and i thought of sharing my views on this on this channel and uh, if in case you have questions please let me know uh, either uh, in the comment section or you can reach out to me directly uh, by emailing me or whatsapping me all right so this is the e masters program right uh, so i assume this is uh, a distance learning program it's not a full time uh, program wherein you will be you know attending classes live classes uh, in the campus in in iit kanpur right so it's a, a e masters program that means uh, even uh, this is uh, suitable for working professionals right at students also you can you can enroll there but also this is um, suitable for working professionals who cannot leave the job uh, and they cannot uh, yeah go and attend classes in kanpur all right um new gate required gate is the examinations that is needed in order to get into iit for the for masters and you are not uh, required to write gate to yeah to go for this course right uh, you will get iit kanpur alumni status in my view that is not the most important part of this because anybody who is already working in the industry would tell you that after a while uh, the alumni status uh, doesn't count much and then people also might ask uh, you know question your credential because this is a e masters program it's not a full time uh, masters program in in iit so you know there are always doubt in the minds of people whether it's it's a proper masters degree from iit or not but regardless as long as you're learning you should not give a damn about whether you are considered an alumni of iit kanpur or not that should not be your biggest motivation although to be honest a lot of people are motivated just to get uh, uh, recognition for being an iit student and and less uh, interested in about learning things um, again it's it's my opinion i may be wrong but uh, i think uh, alumni status doesn't count much beyond a point maybe initially it counts but for working professional it doesn't count much maybe for students uh, it does count a bit but not for working professionals uh all the already there are four batches i think which is interesting because it's not a new program it's been there for maybe a couple of years already right and they teach not just quant finance but also risk management this is also interesting because risk management is very very important part of quant finance and in many uh, programs i've seen it's just uh, the focus is more on uh, just uh, building models and how to build uh, good models how to learn the mathematics behind models some programs are heavily focused on programming but they don't teach much about risk management which in my view is extremely important and perhaps equally important than any other quantitative topic that you will uh, you would be learning in the course so good that they have uh, uh, this also is part of the course okay anyone can apply i'm not sure how they select like uh, but I, i assume that the selection process is very lenient you can easily get through uh, no get required so that's a good thing um all right it's uh, also a bit flexible right you could finish it in about 1 to 3 years time right um all right i'm not 100% sure if this uh, degree is uh, uh, up you know um up, uh, this is uh, up what is this called uh, on par with a full time masters degree or not um i'm not sure if this is uh, this is going to be considered as a masters degree by uh, you know companies outside of india um do check that out with them i don't think they have mentioned this uh, on on the the, the off website so i'm not sure about that um but the good thing is that it's flexible you know you could finish this in about 1 to 3 years time so that's a good thing uh weekend classes so good for working professionals 
so this is a course i would recommend for working professionals but not uh, for students actually because yeah as a student if you're not doing anything i mean uh, there's no point doing a, a part time uh, online masters degree it's uh, better to start working and then do a part time degree rather than just sitting at home and doing a part time degree you know it's better to do a full time degree uh, instead right and as, as expected you'll have networking and all those things uh, as part of this course uh, which is also important in my view and they do also give some credit transfer in case you want to further your education in iit kanpur for mtech or phd which is amazing i would say that means it does carry some weightage if you are applying for full time masters you know um, so that's a that's a good thing they do have a selection process i think it's, it's not like anyone can uh, anyone anyone can get into this i think they do have some sort of selection process uh, it is uh, part of this their management school right it is part of the department of management studies right it's not uh, given by the the the, the mathematics department or or uh, or the statistics department and because it is from the management school i assume that it's less quantitative they probably uh, teach a bit about uh, econometrics uh, some derivative pricing uh, a bit of programming but i think a lot of the things they probably would be teaching you would be accounting finance economics macroeconomics and a lot of stuffs which probably uh, are not quote and quote quant finance but uh, yeah important for quant finance by the way i'm not criticizing it it's it's a good thing it's just about you know if it was i think in chennai mathematical institute they have a mathematical finance program it's heavily mathematics they teach just mathematics and a bit about finance right so it depends it depends where you do your uh, degree from right if it is from a management school or economic school you will be learning a lot of economics finance stuff theory uh, and less quant stuff whereas if it is from a math schools it will be more math heavy right okay um yeah some advertisement who are the faculties over there uh if i'm not wrong one of the faculty was also a guest faculty in an institute where i i was there for a couple of couple of weeks uh yeah i don't remember i think probably he is mr ragunandan sen gupta if i'm not wrong anyway uh um, so as expected the faculty quality of faculties um would be good i assume um so you can expect the quality but but the problem with the uh, academic degrees from these institute is that most of the faculties don't have any practical experience they have never studied uh, they, they have never worked in industry um i'm not 100% sure if they have anyone from the industry as a guest professor or not um what i see on this page is that uh, most of these are uh, academic people you know seasoned academicians career academicians uh, who have got practically no experience industry experience nobody has ever worked uh, they probably are doing some consulting activities maybe uh, some of them um all right but i don't see on the cv anybody having any practical experience that's also a problem in many of these courses because you'll be learning a lot of things without uh, one thing you will be missing in this course is that uh, how are things uh, done in the real world um you know uh, and there are a lot of things in the real world which are not taught in in academic masters program and if i want to quickly uh, learn these things right you shouldn't be doing this courses actually it is because these are time taking courses right if you're not in hurry right if you have time in your hand for one or two or three years maybe and you want to learn in bit of theory you're less interested about the more practical stuff because you're learning these things in the industry then go for it otherwise if you're, you really want to learn things quickly i think uh, it's not the best uh, rather do with something which you can finish in about 3 4 months time and you learn more practical stuff and move on and and move off in your career and then you could think of doing it in more uh, or this could be a long term goal for you that okay you do this in about 2 3 years time but uh, if you really want to advance in your career quickly but that's not uh, something you should be doing 
because it does require some patience right you know a lot of theory uh, you'll be learning about the fees uh in total it's about 8 lakhs which is not cheap to be honest um but not very expensive either right quant finance programs in uh, in europe they cost anywhere between 20000 euro to about 40 45000 euro depending on where you do your uh degree from so in but these are uh, full time programs so part time programs shouldn't cost that much but uh, it it's quite expensive in that way but it's not very expensive also for working professionals right i think people can pay 8 8 lakhs um but uh, cqa for indian uh, students if i am not wrong is also about 7 8 lakhs if i was uh, i if i had to choose i would rather go for cqa than this one i cqa has greater recognition and cqa is is taught by industry professionals more structured it is uh, taught from london the financial center so i would rather go for a cqf than this uh, this uh, master's degree uh, and i think cqf is also i'm not sure about the the recent price uh, the current price but it used to be 7 lakhs if i'm not wrong 2 years back for indian students i think for uh, student outside of uh, india you know uh, from developed world i think they pay well over 20 lakhs or something all right anything else i like to discuss okay so what's the eligibility anyone with a 3 year 4 year bachelor degree masters degree um from any field uh but engineering science economics mba with 55% minimum 2 years of work experience oh this is not uh, for students right it's only for working professionals okay that's good to know because i, I also was thinking that it's not a very ideal degree for students actually as a student you shouldn't be doing this uh, such degrees only if you are a working professional you are earning decent money then only you should go for this these degrees all right candidates with relevant experience will you prefer and that's something you know uh, i don't like because someone with relevant experience would probably not uh, go for it or probably will go for a uh, qualification like cqf right so uh, yeah but it's preferred it's not like it's a prerequisite right i think for this session it's uh, already closed you can't apply but um, maybe for next session you could apply if uh, you are interested uh, have a look uh, on the site if you are interested um how about the curriculum i would like to know the curriculum right they teach as expected they teach uh, quite some economics and finance stuff non quant stuff teach derivatives then r and python security analysis and again this is all theory a lot of that uh, will be theory i don't think they teach any practical stuff in the security analysis ml for financial modeling all right okay so that they teach a bit of regularization and time series ls lstm but nothing about tree wise models and all that anyway treasury and credit risk model development um okay nothing nothing about pdl gd ead model development uh, a bit mix up about liquidity and settlement related activities okay advanced derivatives contracts looks bit uh, non quantitative by the way and they teach blockchain pretty useless in a quant finance program but uh, and i'm sure they will simply be teaching um the basics of blockchain and the theory something that you can learn directly from wikipedia by the way and and, and i'm 100% sure none of these faculties have any practical experience with blockchain they probably have never worked with any blockchain technical analysis chart reading okay i don't know why this is part of a quant finance program advanced financial modeling non stationary or some time series modeling okay so i'm not too uh, impressed with the um, syllabus by the way you know uh, they are charging 8 lakhs but teaching basic stuffs they don't teach anything about quantitative trading algo trading or uh, quant investment uh, that kind of thing they're not teaching uh, detail, uh, little machine learning algorithms how they are being used 
they don't teach industry models such as you know market risk models such as value at risk models they don't teach uh, anything related to pdlg ed modeling in regulatory areas both in the capital as well as the provision side they are not teaching anything on stress testing validation of the models uh, you know they are not teaching anything on um yeah fixed income securities and all yeah so i'm not uh, very impressed with this but it is still a decent course uh, as long as if you have money you could you can go for it and if you want the status alumni status of iit okay this then this is uh, a good course i think but um, if i was in your place i wouldn't go for it i would rather go for cqf uh, if i had to spend 8 lakhs then i would any day go for cqf compared to yeah this uh, particular degree course and cqf is something you can finish in about 6 to 8 months time so that's it's even better for you right and it's more recognized and so on and so forth but if you want to quickly learn some of the things and just want to have a feel just learn uh, either do a either read some books uh, but that's will be more self paced uh, um you know it's it's more uh, something up to you it's self study right or uh, just learn from a mentor okay that will be a first step to learning quantitative finance or risk modeling preferably from somebody who is working in the industry right not from uh, guys in academia and then if you want to go go for a full time recognized uh, you know uh, program either do a cqf or do such masters degree but it's expensive right you sh- that shouldn't be your first course in my view uh, if you if are 100% sure that you want to spend that kind of money okay go for it otherwise i i would i wouldn't do that okay but all in all it's still a decent uh, course i'm uh, don't take it negatively uh, you know the quality probably is is not as great as what i was expecting given that it's from iit but uh, it's not a surprise because it's being taught as from a mba school right and uh, i don't think mba school would teach you a lot of quant stuff they would teach more about business and bit and here and there about and they probably will teach a lot of jargons to you but they won't teach much about what's uh, being used in the actual world in the real world all right if you have further questions as always let me know in the comment section guys thanks as always